hi guys. It is another foggy day here in the end times. <clears throat> it is now a foggy Monday morning. That would be Monday, where are we? December 6th, 2021, somewhere around there. So anyway, uh, I just need to uh, revisit this, <laughs> this rant that I did yesterday. I think it was called a depressed doomer considers creating a sustainable tomorrow where uh, this was kind of a review of uh, since he came on and commented I don't mind saying now I didn't use the man's name this is a fellow an apocaloptimist on steroids name uh, Adam Soul, Adam Soul, who was uh, interviewed on one of our uh, sister stations here in the Doomosphere, shall we say, and uh, anyway, you can go listen to that, my review of the five minutes of that interview that I listened to, uh, so anyway, I'm going <clears> to... <throat> Obviously, I was hoping that Adam would be kind enough to grace us with a review of my review of his interview, and he was, and I'm going to share one of those and respond to it, but I really want to spend more time, since it's relevant to Adam's comment, from this uh, new irritating little gnat that this whiny little irritating gnat that has appeared recently on uh, Humpty Dumpty Tribe comment section and look at one of his comments. So I'm gonna put this little dog down because he needs to go get some squirrelies like that. And uh, <clears throat> so anyway, we're gonna first hear our a comment from Adam. Adam Soul himself, the uh, he left several comments. Uh, <clears throat> tell me this: <clears throat> Why spend your time warning people when there is nothing that can be done anyway? Why wake someone up to tell them that they are about to die? Why not? just let them sleep okay then uh, he makes several comments that uh, I am uh, you know talking about him uh, make you know jumping to conclusions about what's going on in his head I guess without listening to anything he has to say. He makes that comment several times. Well, if Adam, so Adam Soul has as much interest in hearing one fucking word I have to say about anything, okay, uh, then I have any interest and hearing one fucking word he has to say about his little hopium-soaked pipe dream uh, of creating a sustainable tomorrow, at least one that does not include a reduction of the human population on this planet by minimally 90%, preferably 100%. Uh, the man had, he, he has never heard, I, I, I have 12,000 videos, Adam, for, for your fucking uh, information. I've been doing this shit for 13 years. I have dedicated my life to uh, investigating the single biggest story in the history of humanity, hands down. I have stated many times for the record, if, if you would just go listen to my introductory video to Humpty Dumpty Tribe, which I think is uh, titled something like, Welcome to Humpty Dumpty Tribe, now get the hell out of here. All right? Uh, <laughs> I would not wish 
the knowledge that I have accumulated about how utterly fucked we are uh, on my worst enemy, okay? I, I have no desire to convince one clueless fucking moron, whether they be an absolutely irredeemable clueless fucking moron on every level, or uh, in, in your case, uh, an apocaloptimistic. If you don't know the definition of the word apocaloptimist, Adam, you are the king. An apocaloptimist is someone who understands on one level how fucked we are. Okay, obviously, you know we're going to collapse. You understand how fucked we are. But, but then uh, you go off into this fucking little la-la land uh, uh, about how uh, once we come through the Georgia Guidestones bottleneck uh, that we're all, you know, that the survivors of the collapse of global industrial civilization are, are all just going to come, come together, hold hands, and sing kumbaya and, and, and put this shit back together. Uh, it ain't gonna happen, brother. Ain't fucking gonna happen. But anyway, I don't need to repeat everything that I said yesterday. But let me, uh, so let, let me get back to this comment and, uh, and then we're gonna move ahead because I, I, I kind of want to roll this in with another comment. But one more time. Why spend your time warning people when there's nothing that can be done anyway? Why wake someone up uh, to tell them that they're about to die? Why not just let them sleep? I Sleep away. Anybody uh, who can sleep through uh, the single biggest story uh, in the history of humanity, by all means, stay in a fucking coma. You do not want to go down this fucking rabbit hole. You don't want to do it. You will fuck your life up carrying this around. Okay? There's no fucking future in it. That said, this channel, Humpty Dumpty Tribe, is not for pussies. This channel, and to a lesser degree, that little eco pussy over there at Collapse Chronicles, just a little bit lighter weight instead of a fucking two by four up against your fucking clueless head. He uses a little feather. Uh, but this is simply for the, the tiny fraction of humanity who understand how fucked we are understand that corona panic is a fucking bad hair day should not even be in the fucking news all right these are the people i'm talking to who, who are who have the fucking balls to understand that we're fucked there's not a fucking thing you're gonna do about it there is no sustainable tomorrow we pad, that fucking ship sank uh, at least 50 fucking years ago, okay? It's at the bottom of the fucking ocean. That notion. This is for people who, uh, the tiny few people on this planet uh, who understand what we're heading into, uh, this bottleneck we're heading into is the single biggest event in the history of humanity and, and, and want to come to terms with it. Uh, understand on a cellular level how fucked we are and once they, they quit all of this fucking hopium and this denial and this bargaining and all of this shit and, and want to come into the acceptance that we are fucked then they can spend the, the rest of their life figuring out how to respond to this. What is, since, since there's not a fucking thing you're going to do to change the outcome of this big splat we're headed into, what can I as an individual do with this knowledge? How do I spend the rest of my life?
and this is what uh, this is what I try to offer. But, but anyway, before I get into this, we're going to actually move along from uh, Adam, and 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 I do appreciate your your commentary, brother. Don't act like I don't appreciate your your commentary. But I want to talk about this fucking dude who is not a clueless moron calling himself Matrix Abtalung. I don't know how you pronounce it. Anyway, Matrix Abtalung. Uh, this, I don't know when this, this irritating little gnat showed up in the comment section of Humpty Dumpty Tribe. A few weeks ago, this dude, uh, I assume it's a dude, uh, showed up here. And, and, and I, I don't know what the fucking... What, what fly has flown up uh, this dude's ass. Now, he's not a clueless fucking moron. He understands that we're fucked. Uh, but anyway, he has been, he or she, been leaving these long fucking comments that nobody reads, including me. Uh, this was actually one of his short comments. This was his reaction, his or her reaction. Hambone. You contradict yourself. You spend 90% of the time putting people into a state of fear and dread over a hopeless and chaotic future. And the other 10% is enjoy life and look at the pretty sunset. If we are doomed and therefore should be enjoying life, why should we spend two seconds thinking about terrible things in the future that we cannot change? Where is the logic in that? Completely stupid. If you were serious that people should enjoy life, then you would have, then you would have two, I guess, uh, have two YouTube channels about enjoying life. Instead, you have two channels trying to get people to feel hopeless, see life as pointless, and commit suicide. And saying at the end of these videos, enjoy life while you still can, becomes a cruel joke. It is a cruel joke to say at the end while you still can. It's like giving someone ice cream and then saying you put a piece of glass in it. <laughs> thank you, uh, thank you Matrix. My, my short reply to Matrix and then we're going to uh, give the long reply is keep listening and the truth will come to you grasshopper. You are an irritating little gnat, but I keep you around because I want to be here <coughs> when you get it through your clueless skull what the hell I am talking about. No contradiction whatsoever here. The most logical conclusion, the only conclusion there is to reach, meaning get out there and enjoy it while you still can. So, all right, let's break down Matrix's comment here. And, uh, okay, <clears throat> you contradict yourself. You spend 90% of your time putting people into a state of fear, blah, 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 and the other 10% is enjoy life and look at the pretty sunset. Okay, we're gonna stop right here. A 90-10 split. I would say, see, th this is the, the, the fundamental thing that people fail to grasp. Certainly people like uh, Adam Soul fail to grasp because they've probably listened to me for five minutes. But even people who have been listening uh, to me uh, for what now, 13 fucking years, what they fail to grasp is I would say at least 50% of what I try to do here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe 
is let this speak for itself. Letting the uh, letting the Sandhill Crane speak. I see this fucking battery is probably going to shut down, and uh, so I'm just going to sit here and talk till the battery shuts down. Uh, at least 50% of what I do here is try to convey the notion to get out there and enjoy it while you still can. Once you fucking understand where this planet is going, there is no such thing as your fucking little sustainable tomorrow and all of that, uh, what you do is let death be your advisor. But not as Carlos Castaneda and Don Juan de define the term about your teeny weeny little personal death. It's let the death of this beautiful gift, this garden of Eden that we have trashed. Let the obliteration of life on earth and everything that is beautiful and sacred that we were handed uh, two million years ago. Uh, let the obliteration of all of this be your advisor to how you are going to respond to the information that is out there to anybody who has the fucking balls to listen to it. And, you, and once you realize this whole thing could be gone every single day, fucking humans are tearing down, destroying, blowing up, bulldozing, whatever. Uh, every single day, it gets harder and harder and harder to get out there and... and you know, find beautiful places. This is why I have dedicated my life to spending as much time as I can uh, in beautiful places, uh, hopefully with eternal springtime weather. Uh, it's, uh, it, 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 I don't, I don't know why this is so fucking uh, hard to accept. And, and even doomers don't accept this. And, 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 and this is the embarrassing thing. These people who call themselves doomers, and uh, they, they, they call themselves fucking doomers. They act like, uh, they, they, you know, they intellectualize that they understand uh, what the fuck I'm talking about, and, and, and then they continue to, to just go on uh, 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 about their uh, teeny weeny, pointless, useless uh, lives. And, and, that, and that's the other part of this, uh, and, you know, in addition to the, you know, using the death of the planet uh, as, as your advisor, uh, it's more along the Terence McKenna line, I would say, or, or maybe the Schopenhauer Nietzsche line of philosophy it, it is, it is examining your life and, and looking at your fucking life and, and how you are choosing to spend uh, the remaining days that you have uh, in, in, in your life. Uh, and, and, and taking a long, hard look and asking yourself, is this what I want to be fucking doing uh, the day the shit show comes down, the, the day the fucking mushroom cloud goes up in the fucking air? Do, do I want to be sitting uh, in, in some goddamn office uh, staring at a little box? Uh, I don't know. Do I want to be stacking fucking uh, made in China shit on some fucking shelf in some big box store? Or do I want to be out drinking uh, a, a, a frosty margarita looking at a spectacularly gorgeous sunset when the mushroom cloud goes up? And uh, th there are a tiny few people, 
first there's a tiny few people who have any fucking clue what I'm talking about and who understand that at least 50% of, of what I do here but you cannot get to the, uh, the level of appreciation for, uh, for what's left uh, of, of the beauty and the sanctity uh, of Mother Earth, uh, the little bit that we have left, uh, until you fully grasp the, uh, the level of tragedy and loss that we're talking about. You have to take the grief in. You have to you have to breathe in the grief and the rage and turn that back outward you know in, into an appreciation of uh, of, of, of the tiny few uh, little islands uh, of sanity we have uh, left on this planet with full knowledge that uh, they they're the whole thing could go any day uh, and this is why I am sitting alone out here you know with my thumb up my ass in the point lonesome swamp you know looking for one fucking woman on this planet one doomer chick on this planet who understands what the fuck I'm talking about and 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 wants to spend more of her life enjoying uh, whether it's the fog banks rolling in over the marsh, whether it's the sunset, you know what I'm saying. Uh, it's all fucking talk, no action. Anyway, where were we, uh, Mr. Matrix? I can't believe my battery. And now here comes the sun. Imagine that, the sun coming out. Okay. If we are doomed and therefore should be enjoying life, why should we spend two seconds thinking about terrible things in the future that we cannot change? Well, I just answered that part of the comment. You need to bring this knowledge in. If you are ready for it. I, you know, like the, whatever that Jack Nicholson line in that movie, uh, you can't handle the truth nobody wants to hear the fucking truth okay this uh, this channel is for the few of us who want to hear the fucking truth accept it in our hearts and every cell of our body and 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 move on w w with our fucking life carrying around uh, th this knowledge. If you're not ready for this truth, get the fuck off of here. Run. Go over to fucking, uh, what's his face? Uh, Adam Soul's channel. Okay? Please. Uh, you're not ready for this, Adam. Probably because you're a breeder. Now, I won't even get into that. You will have a much better chance uh, being able to face up to the, uh, to the horror, the impending horror, and therefore appreciate what's left of the beauty if you're not a fucking breeder. So I, I, I know goddamn well Adam Soul is a fucking breeder. Uh, and and you know, what, what can I say? Uh, if, uh, if I was a fucking breeder, I would be suicidal, I would be homicidal, uh, and, I, and I might be deluding myself uh, that we're going to create a sustainable tomorrow for all of these planet-eating, clueless little fucking kids that never should have been fucking born. All right. Uh, where is the logic in that? Yes. Uh, <laughs> where is...
is the logic. Well, okay, it sounds perfectly logical to me. Now, I did take logic in college, and I, and I made an A in it. Let's set up the logical, whatever they call this. Uh, you understand this planet is fucked. Okay, that's proposition A. Proposition B, you understand that with each passing day, uh, your ability to get out there and enjoy what's left of this beautiful planet is shrinking. And any day, it could be obliterated. Okay, that's A, that's B. Conclusion C, you should be, this is just me, uh, you should be dedicating your life. You should be examining your life and asking yourself why I am stuck in this fucking rut. Uh, and more importantly, you should be dedicating your life to getting out there and enjoying the greatest gift uh, that, that probably any species in the universe could have. And, and, and that is this glorious, beautiful uh, earth that we live on. Get out there and fucking enjoy it and your sense of, of gratitude for what's left will, uh, will, will swell exponentially in direct proportion to your understanding that we are fucked. But I don't expect 99.99% uh, of people out there to understand I have one fucking clue about one fucking word that I, Carlos Castaneda, Don Juan Matus, Terrence McKenna, uh, Bill Hicks, George Carlin, whoever, are, 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 are talking about. Not, not a fucking clue, and I'm not talking to you. Go back to your fucking cute cat videos. Go create your fucking little mythical sustainable path uh, if it helps you sleep tonight uh, you know do it I, I'm not stopping you it's a free fucking country or it's supposed to be uh, don't get me off on that uh, it is your right to be a clueless fucking moron to be an absolute clueless fucking moron it's your right to be a hopium soaked apocaloptimist and it is my fucking right to uh, understand how fucked we are and, and to embody that knowledge and turn it in to my appreciation uh, of uh, beautiful places and beautiful weather. So uh, I don't expect uh, either Adam Soul or or Matrix, whatever his name is, to to have to understand one fucking word that that I have just wasted. I I I, I harbor no illusions that Adam Soul or Matrix, what his name, has any fucking clue what I'm talking about, but I have some ridiculous uh, belief that maybe five of you, maybe five people out there listening to this have a tiny shred of an idea of what the fuck I'm talking about. Anyway, it is a spectacularly gorgeous day here in the uh, in the end times. It is a gorgeous Monday morning, and since I do not have to go stock a fucking Amazon warehouse uh, or any of that shit, what I do have to go do is figure out how to put the goddamn kayak seat back in my kayak. That is my challenge getting my kayak seat back in my kayak uh, while I still can. And I highly suggest you get out there and enjoy this beautiful planet. 
while you still can. Look at that sunshine coming up. All right, so I gotta head out here. Head out here to my kayak. Figure out how to uh, get that seat installed in my kayak. Mm. Look at this gorgeous day. I think I hear an airboat approaching. What a surprise. Bye guys.